Welcome back to my time with Sandrock. Spending time with Sandrock. One moment. to move my bed here. It's not a very good place for a window. money we're gonna have the upstairs where the bed's gonna go right now I can barely afford to walk in a circle letter. It can wait. Still don't seem to be making enough water to this machine to lose a few percentage per day. Four minutes. Hooty hoot hoot. Alrighty. I 
Sandy. Welcome. I have something very exciting to show you today. How did you get here, Heidi? I saw you going by the track. Using the R47 Power Core Ultra, I was able to channel upwards of 10 gigajoules per second of energy out of condensed power stones without encountering any significant losses in efficiency. The amplitude and frequencies of vibrations at higher dual inputs seem to be minimalized by an advanced internal stabilizer in the compression chamber, averting electrothermal heat displacement. It's literally bending the law of thermodynamics. Only to suffer. I've designed a power suit running on the R47 Power Core Ultra. It will greatly enhance the speed at which we can rebuild the bridge. It's a design I came up with at Vega 5, but I never believed we'd actually find the energy output to put it into practice. My inspiration for it comes from something very obscure, something you two never would have heard of. Gundam? Isn't this one of the robots from that old world entertainment show? What was it? Gungums? <laughs> Close. Um, must be a bizarre coincidence. I've never seen anything like that. Why would I- In any case, this will be very useful. I was planning on using cranes, but with this, we can save a lot on the budget. Good job, Director. Who's paying for this that you need to worry about the budget? If I ever get my hands on any other R-57 course, I'll be able to manifest even more superior designs. <laughs> uh, here's the diagram for it. I mean, it looks exactly like one of the Gungam robots. Uh, look at the time. We all have a lot of work to do, so I bid you both good day. Fine. When you're done with this Gungam mobile suit, give it to me. We should have the budget for it. I heard that. You don't even know what I'm gonna charge. Moment. I heard you can't even put your stove inside your house. That's lame. See you later. Welcome back to the Tickle Trunk. Still three minutes. Yeesh. Simple circuits. Four 
rubber shells, four steel, bar steel bars, and five old parts. Two minutes and 45 seconds. Oh no, time froze while I was in there.
Are you sure there really ain't nothing I can do to change your mind? Anything at all? Nope. Sandrock is history. I'm out. Don't want to be a part of history. Well, that's just we like we'll we'll you. Smell, you later. smell you later. Dang it. There goes the best onsword of this company ever had. What about me, sir? There goes the best darn sword of this company ever had. Boss, I heard there's a machine that does sorting. Maybe we could commission one from a builder to help out next. Sir, what about me? There goes the darn best sword of this company ever had. You can both of you to shut up. I'm kind of emotional over here. Besides, Ain't no machine that does sorting. No, I'm pretty sure she's right. Hey, Builder, over here! Do you know anything about a sorting machine? See, I knew there was such a thing as a sorting machine. You can research it with Director Chi, right? What do you say, boss? Can we make an official commission for a sorting machine? Well, me, boss. Uh, sure. I don't know, whatever. Who cares? I say we go for it. I'm not doing extra work just because Bama thinks this place is drying up. Uh, Bama's gone. That's not a reason. Her absence means more work for you. It's our best chance to stay in business, boss. We should take it. Yeah, yeah, all right. Even if I said no, looks like it's four, uh, three against one anyway. And one boss? thing we don't do here at Ufala Salvage is undermine democracy. Yo, you heard the boys. One sorting machine. Hold the mustard. Undermine democracy? What kind of business are you running? Is there no boss? I'm just going to try. Oh wait, I got an idea. Probably can't put it up there.
It's like something out of my little toaster. So this is it. The definitely not a Gunga mobile suit. While you were working, I factored like this thing into my construction and plan. Not and Gungam. with it, we'll be able to finish what's left of the bridge base in just two days. And since that's the case, I'll send word to Atara and have them send us a bridge inspector on the double. That she really has an amazing mind. Though, you'll never hear me say it to him. Why? If his head got any more full of hot air, I think he might just float away. And we need him here, don't we? Well, thanks again no. for all your efforts. I'll show Chi your work. I think he'll be very impressed with how faithful you've been to his design. Looks cool. Sandrock used to have dozens of trains going through it every day. But when I got here, well... What's up, Logan? Garbage. You weren't gonna pick that up, were you? I'm gonna pick it back to yourselves. Doable. Bring me five data disks, and you'll have what you want. Heidi, show me the mobile suit. It's exactly as I imagined. I've come to find that I can consistently rely on you to deliver. Well met. Um, if you don't have business with me. Um, if you don't. Oh, I need five and you have two? That's rare. Usually have a surplus. Oh well. Bamna. Oh, it's you. Look, I'll level with you. Sandrock's a dying town. Get out while you still can. Huh? You won't? Hmm. Well, keep an eye on the boys for me. Best of luck to you all.
like we're going mining. Go. Getting tired of watching that. Okay, I'll get started. Check a mail soon. Womit. See you later. So seven o'clock. Five now. Almost six. What are you doing?
Go give some poo to Yan and come back here. Last but not least. Time froze. Go, 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 go. Or you it. But it's in the sky. Be on time. Nash is gonna give me crap for being late. Good! You're here! Shh! Don't make a sound. Give me the goods, I'll place them, then we play the waiting game. Farman is more clever than I done thanked. Little bugger. Think you can outsmart me, do ya? Next time, 
Crew, you better believe next time there won't be a next time. Next time, or my name ain't Elsie, the rootinest, tootinest, yak girl this side of the U. This side of the EU? You even European? Oh, gosh, no. I went and hurt the little bugger. All I ever wanted was to have a little fun. Don't you tell me that thing floating in the sky behind your head. What is that? Hey, you know what this means, don't you? We gotta track him down again and patch it up. First, we need to get some medicine. Can you take care of that while I try to track it down again? Let's rendezvous as soon as possible. Yeah, pretty scary, huh? No. Apparently, oregano is a um, medicine in this game. Here to cure your pizza. Hey, there you are. Looks like you got some good stuff there. All right, I tracked it down to a general area. Come on. Standing, you hear? We're gonna take real good care of you from now on. All right? Imprison you in a cage. Would you look at that? Looks like all's forgiven. I'd go so far as to say. Let's take you back to the ranch, all right, little one? I won't let any more mean old yak girls cause you no harm. You're the only one that heard it. Well, all right. I think I can take things from here. Come visit our new friend here at the ranch when you get a minute. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Alright, and that's going to be it for tonight. I'm just going to pause it here and return to the story tomorrow. Find out what's going on with that meerkat. If you uh, enjoyed your stay here with me, feel free to hit follow or like. You have a good night and uh, don't forget to mumble. Blah, 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 blah.